Now, let's try to use the, the new XLOOKUP to find the contact name. We're going to type this one in as well. So I'll type in equals XLOOKUP open parentheses. The lookup value is still the same. That's going to be that customer ID in cell B2. And I'll type in a comma. Now, for the lookup array, it's still going to be on the other sheet. But now I'm just going to uh, highlight the column I want to match, which is column B. So right away, that's going to be easier than the VLOOKUP. With the VLOOKUP, I have to start there and drag across as many columns as I, as I, as I want to uh, look at. But here, I'm just going to highlight the matching column, which is column B. I'll type in a comma. Now, the return array is what I want to return. So I'm just going to highlight this column. So I don't have to type in that number two or you know get really confusing. I just, I just highlighted this column is the one I want to match and this column I, I want to return. So I think they made it easier, you know, as you can see. I'll type in a comma. Now, here, look, if not found. Remember with the VLOOKUP, I had to include a whole other formula here. Well, here I can build it right in. So if it's not, sound, not found, I'll say not found. And that's going to be in quotes because it's text. Comma. And then... Here's the, the match mode. So we'll do an exact match. Now, these two over here, these other choices will, will be for when we do the true type of a VLOOKUP in a couple minutes. But this one's going to be an exact match. Good. And then another comma. Now, the search mode uh, on the VLOOKUP, I can only go from the top to the bottom. With the um, XLOOKUP, I can go from the bottom to the top when we say search last to first. The significance of that is that with the VLOOKUP, let's say I was looking for this particular customer ID. If it was in there more than once, I would only ever find the first one. But because with the XLOOKUP, I can search from the bottom, I can find the other occurrences of that same customer ID or whatever you're looking for. So that's a big, uh, that's a big factor as well. In this case, I don't have to type that in. So I'll just type in another comma and then close the parentheses. Actually, those last two par uh, parameters are actually optional. You don't have to type in those commas, but no problem. So I really like the X lookup because uh, here I'm just picking the column I want to match. And then here I'm just going to return, pick the column that I want to return. I think they made that much more straightforward than the V lookup. So when I hit the enter key, then uh, in this case, let me get rid of those parameters there. Okay, so you can see in this case, uh, we just have comma zero, and then I thought that was a lot more straightforward than the VLOOKUP. That's the whole point of the XLOOKUP was to make that easier. And I'm going to copy that down. So it gives you the same results as the VLOOKUP, but I just think it's easier to use because here I just have the column that I want to match, and then I have the column that I want to return, so I don't have to make it more complicated like the VLOOKUP does. Now, here's another great advantage of the XLOOKUP. With the VLOOKUP, I have the matching column and I have to go to the right of that. There's no way I can go to the left of the matching column. With the XLOOKUP, I can. So watch. Remember how on the customer list sheet, the company name is over here uh, in column A, right? Well. Watch what we're going to do. I'll type in equals X lookup. Open parentheses. The lookup value is still going to be that customer ID right there in cell B2, comma. The lookup array, we're going to go back to the customer list and I'll highlight column B again, right? That's still the column that I want to match. And then another comma. And now the return array, I want to return column A. I can actually go to the left of that now. We can never do that with the VLOOKUP. I'll type in a comma. So again, if it's not found, I'll say uh, not found there. Good. So that replaces the whole if error right there. Type in a comma and we'll do an exact match. And that's really the last parameter that we need. Uh, I'm going to close that parentheses. I'm going to press the enter key. And then notice how we were able to return the company name back to here. All right, so if I go back to the VLOOKUP, 
you know, I can, I can try to put a negative number there. So I'll try to put a, a negative one. You know, it just isn't going to let me do that. All right. So, or I'll try to put a zero or some other way to go to a negative number. It just is not going to let me do that. So in this case, I'll put it back to the number two. Good. So that's a big advantage of the X lookup is we can actually go to the left of the column that we're going to try to match. And I'm going to copy that down. Now, if I come over here, I'll type in AAA. This one says not found because we had to do the if error, right? We had to do that whole extra function. This one says not found because it's built right into the X lookup, as you can see. And this one says not found because it's built right into the X lookup. So I really think they've made the X lookup better than the V lookup or easier to use for the reasons that I'm talking about. Let's go back and put that back. So it says V I N E T. Okay, good.